Well, hello, darlings. It's Miss Tia. Yep, I'm wearing my ball cap and my spot collar today because, darlings, today's no day for them tiaras and pearls. No, I'm telling you, these streets are on fire. But, you know, you got little fires going on everywhere. You know, this one say that about that one, and this one don't like this one, and these two are going at each other, and this one's over here playing the victim and all that. You know, you got those things on these streets, and we're used to them. But let me tell you something we should never be used to. And that's something that Miss Laura, perplexed QT, perplexed TC, whatever she takes, oh, she's going by, I can't even. Personally, I liked it better when she was obnoxiously irrelevant. Oh, my gosh. Listen. Laura. I don't care if it was three years ago that you called CPS on Makeup Mobster. I don't care if it was two. I don't care if it was last week. I don't care if it was 15 years ago. You are just as wrong. It doesn't lessen the significance of what you did based off of the fact that you lied about it for two to three years. That doesn't change anything. And you're talking about you own it? You don't own anything. You were trying to salvage what you could because you knew that people were going to be outraged. So you were going to try to get ahead of it and try to get your little story out and make some excuses before it all came out. That's, that's, is that what you call owning it? Because I don't think that's the true meaning of when you owned something. You say you changed? Ten months ago, you say you changed? Well, ten months ago, if you made such a change, why didn't you own it then? Huh? Why didn't you own it then? I don't understand. I do not understand. I don't understand people on this platform. I mean, this bunch, like, some of these people... Well, they do some hella dirty stuff, all right? Dirty, dirty stuff. And all of it's wrong. All of it. But there's nothing worse than weaponizing the CPS system, the welfare system, whatever you choose to call it, against children because essentially what you're doing is you are going against that child you're, you're going for the child you might be mad at the parent but you're going for the child that's what you're doing and to say anything different is just a lie so you are as low as to go for a child basically like <laughs> and Laura, you ought to know because you was just up on Jones's what, a few days ago or something? Carrying on about, oh, you were such a victim when CPS was called on you and how traumatic that was for your children and blah, 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 blah. All well knowing that you done the same damn thing to make up mobster's child. Seriously? And you gonna get up there and act like that? Like, see, most people, when they have something bad happen to them, they have something traumatic happen to them. You know, the the, the phrase of, I wouldn't wish, the, wish that on my worst enemy. See, that's what, that's what decent people do. They don't want other people to have to experience the kind of stuff they had to experience. So you knew what it felt like to have CPS called on you. And yet you're going to turn around and do it to somebody else. Why you say you did it? Uh, to get her to shut up. And then I heard Isaac over there on your channel and he and he was trying to tell you, you know, why you just called because you were mad and you go, you say, I, w I, I wasn't mad. I wasn't mad. And then five minutes later he said, so why'd you call, Laura? And you said, I was pissed. Uh, and then in the same conversation you're talking about you have integrity. Now tell me how that, how that work? How does that work? You got integrity. But you had to lie when you made the CPS call. And you had to lie 
I mean, because which is it's true? You're not mad or you called because you was pissed? Like, which one is it? Because if I'm not mistaken, pissed and mad, they mean the same thing? Like, right? Am I not, am I not right? So, so what is it? And then, in those DMs, in those screenshots of those DMs, I do believe that you say you would do it again. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, Makeup Mobster said that the date on that was September 2023. That hadn't even been a year since you say you're going to do it again, or you would do it again. So you're basically saying you're going to go after a child again. If, if you need to get somebody to shut up, you mad at somebody, well, you do it again. Girl, mm-mm. You are the, mm, mm, I can't, y'all. I'm so mad. And then, is she, Laura, you going to be saying, what business is it of anybody else? Is this just between me and Makeup Mobster? Listen, bitch. When you go after a child, it's everybody's business. That's what's wrong with this world. Is people turn around and, and, you know, oh, it's not my business. I'm just going to, I'm just going to walk on. Oh, I'm not going to get involved. No. When we're talking about a child, it's everybody's business. It needs to be everybody's business. And that's why CPS has those hotlines for people to call in for when children are being abused or neglected and people have suspicions of that. That it is everybody's business to call to make sure that child gets the help they need. So you talking about it ain't nobody's business. But you sure blasting your business when CPS got called on you. I mean, you, you've been on panels talking about how it was so horrible. You making it people's business when it was you. But it ain't nobody's business when you did it to somebody else, huh? You're disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Like, people told me, and, you know, there were times I was like, man, maybe I'm wrong about Laura, you know, like, in the beginning. And but, and I thought, well, you know, I kind of agree with her on that. or this. Uh-uh. No, I should have stuck with what I thought from the very beginning, what everybody done told me, and what I saw over these streets. Because I was beginning to think, well, maybe Laura did change. But, no, you didn't change. You just put on a little thicker mask there for a little while. But that mask done got ripped off, and you the same damn person you always been on these streets. You the same one. Mm-mm. I tell you what. It's just some disgusting stuff, people. And I, I just, like, there's no excuse for it. There's none. There's nothing that anybody could say. Like, Lars over there making excuses. And, well, well, what about this? And what about that? And what about this? And, well, they did this. Who gives a shit what anybody else did? You the one that went after a child. You. Oh, y'all, I'm telling you. Mm -mm. All right, well, you know, I had plans to come on these streets, you know, today and talk to y'all about some stuff. Just some, all that kind of stuff just seemed petty. Just seemed petty now based off of what we found out today. Mm-hmm, just seemed petty. I see Savage over there, and she would... She was live, and they, they they was doing a review on Laura's candles. That was kind of funny. Some of it was kind of pretty funny, but, you know, I, like, I, I just knew when I, I, there's no way I could, I could come on here and, and even try, and, like, she wasn't making light about that. They, I mean, they were pissed about the CPS calls, but she was, you know, talking about candles, and I, I just was like, you know, I knew when I came on here to talk about it, I was going to get pissed even more, and I am. And guess what, Laura? Piss me's mad. Mm-mm-mm. All right. Y'all, I'm going to have to get on off of here. Probably just check my blood pressure. And, um, yeah. That's what I'm going to do. And I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to even be back on these streets for a little bit. Whew. Lord have mercy. All right. Y'all stay safe. Remember, protect yourselves. And remember, these people on here are not your friends. All right, darlings. Miss T. I'll see you soon. Bye now.